Okay, guys, this is Rick Fox. Uh, no, just kidding. This is MK Leo and New King. We're gonna be talking about Marf and Lucina. I've been playing Marf a lot since like a month ago, so I've been learning a lot about Marf. And he obviously plays Lucina. He used to play Marf in melee, so we all know we all know that he is really good, probably the best Marf in melee. So we know a lot about the characters. So we will, we will say everything we know about those characters. And obviously, you know, Marf is from Fire from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon, and Lucina is from Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem what? Moving on. Marv and Lucina. Right. These, these are this is all about spacing. Obviously, all you know. about spacing and combos, basically. Neutral yeah. game. That's really important. Yeah, this character is basically spacing fundamentals. The character. That's like the main thing of them. So if you're good at spacing, this, you're good, you're pretty uh, much gonna be able to use this character. They actually have the same length of sword, according to my tests. It's just that Marv's tipper is at the uh, the end. Uh, but it's kind of small, which is why a lot of people think that uh, Lucina is better. But theoretically, if Marf was to like master the tipper spacing, then Marf would be better. The thing he lost from Smash Four is he had some like setups where he did like jab one into like F tilt, oh, like that or tipper F tilt, for example. And it was like way easier to get. Oh, the in tipper the last was bigger yeah. in the last hit. Yeah, it was like way easier. Yes. In this game, it's like they they got like the same range in this game. I think Marf like tilts are like longer than Lucina's, but like any other moves, it's exactly the same thing as Lucina. But like Lucina doesn't, doesn't need to care about getting... I think the totes are the same moves. All the moves are the same. They ported over the sword. Oh, really? Yeah, they ported over the sword. They just okay, made Okay, so the they, edge of they basically have the same range. Just uh, Mar has a sweet spot at the end of the sword, and Lucina doesn't care about it. She can just hit you with whatever, and it's going to hurt. It's also important to mention, uh, according to my tests, um, not every move scales equally. For example, Molusina is the center of the sword. You would think that's always in the exact middle um, between tip Marf's tipper and Marf's center hit, but it's not always the same for every move. For example, Lucina's fair is and bear are, are almost as strong as Marf's tipper fair and bear, but Marf's center hit back air and fair are actually significantly weaker. But for ground moves, usually, and like moves like forward smash is reversed, um, where if you were to average the t like all three combinations, Marf actually has the higher number, so Marf has like pretty good ground moves in general, whereas Cena is really good at the edge guarding. So uh, the thing about Marf, I've been playing Marf a lot. I used to play the character in Smash 4. Basically, I don't know much about Lucina. Like she's exactly the same character, so I just I'm just good with her because I used to be really good with Marf back in Smash 4. I just start to play Marf again, but like it's actually really hard. I still think Marf could be better than Lucina in like in the future. I actually call the side beat the future. future. Like it gives you like 60% if it hits you with the tipper. It's actually really hard, but like everyone is like, no, there's no way you can get it. Yeah, there's actually no way you can get it. You just need to react to it. You just need to like do one, two, three, then react to the last kid. That's actually like that's the only way I can see everyone getting the side beat. Also, Lucina gets off the edge a bit easier because uh, she has like extra shield stun off the snare. Whereas when Marf's trying to like ledge drop aerial off the ledge, there's less shield stun. So the frame advantage he has uh, is greater. So Marf's better from this position, but he's worse from this position. There's another note. Also, Marf's shield break is actually better. And more often than not, actually, so usually tipping. Yeah, it's actually better because uh, it, it gets Lucina closer shoot, to breaking Lucina the shield. Lucina's shield break is always like... It's It'll never the, break it. It's always the same thing. She's gonna, she's always gonna do the same damage to your shield. But Marf's if, one extra damage that can make all the difference. Yeah, because like he damage. he got a, a sweet spot. So if you, he's gonna break your shield way earlier than Lucina, because if he hits you with a shield break with Tipper, he's gonna break it instantly. And like obviously, if you shield, if you break shield someone like twenty percent, Marf is better at that. Cause like he can just Tipper you at like twenty, and you're gonna, and you die. Lucina can't do that. That's why I think Marsh is better at shield breaking. Like, Lucina is more of an up close brawler in comparison to Marsh, where Marsh is usually just like always, always trying to get the tipper no matter what. We all know about this Lucina combos down to into upper, upper, upper if there's a platform. Yeah, yeah you down throw up arrow. If you DI back, it, you can actually escape you can the actually true combo. Without, without, and then you can do back, back air, but depending on the character and all the details of the exact situation, it does not combo as often. Yeah. That's down throw up And obviously, does. like falling upper into upper, like up tilt. Like, those are like Lucina basic combos. Fair into ba backer into fair, a low, a low percent in the air. Uh, you, can down, you can down throw uh, 
wait for the air dodge, and then you just do, uh, you get like two to three hits instead of one hit. Other they can beat that by jumping away or just falling and then hitting you with their own uh, delayed aerial. Yeah, it seems like, I like Wolf. It's like super basic character. Yeah. It's only based on neutral games. You're always going to look for the same combo option since it's like optimized. So like Marth has like some combos like this. You stay there. Just. Like he he fares you with the, with the star spot. He gets the grab and he can Wait, just do whatever he wants. Wait, can do that at zero too. Yeah, that works with Lucina. I've seen you. Yeah, do but it with like Lucina. not a high percent. Yeah, not like, a high percent. At that you, percent can do it, you can do it for a long. Do it. You can do it for a longer percent. So yeah, yeah, that works. Okay, it works long. It works for longer with Mars. Yeah, and like obviously. But Lucina wants to fair grab at zero or at yeah. very low. Yeah, and Mars can just do it from zero to like forty percent. Technically, every move, Marth move is better than Lucina if you were to tip them. But it, that's that's a theoretical like, world. That's not reality. There is a fifth dimension beyond that which is known to. It is a dimension as vast as space and as timeless as infinity. It is the middle ground between light and shadow, between science and superstition, and it lies between the pit of man's fears and the summit of his knowledge. This is the dimension of imagination. It is an area which we call the Marth Zone. But like, I also think Marth has a, a better combo game than Lucina. I also think that. Like, imagine. Lucina can just do like, okay, down throw away for the air dodge, upper, upper into upper, maybe into upper again. I don't know if you get like upper weak, like, don't matter the upper, upper into fair, into fair with Lucina is not gonna work. Like, you go, you can only do upper into fair and you get like a, a good knockback. But like with Mart, since he got the, the star spot, he can just do upper into weak fair into deeper fair and it's actually gonna kill you. That's a better. That's that true combo? Yeah, that's actually okay. a better, like, a kill option. Lucina oh, can do that. Good, try to, I, Lucina can do that. Give like, me a 60. I want to see that. It gets like more knockback. Oh, and you can also down her F smash tipper. Yeah. It's like really hard. You need to be a. Uh... It depends on the character, the person. Maybe like there you I want to see the down tilt one. So, like, even at that percent, like, Mart is not going to do anything. So he can just down tilt grab you since you're not going to be in the ground. But like at, at high percents, let's see. I'm going to show you. You can do down tilt into like oh. taper down smash. Or, and like, it's, easy to miss, it's easy to miss that tech too. Yeah, because you're like, not thinking about expecting. Because like he's, they are thinking about Lucina's down tilt, or like a stronger down tilt. But like it yeah, gets people super, aren't people aren't used. They to are Marth. like super close to you that you can just react. Like Marth super fast, so you can just react with the tech chase and like, O smash, down smash, forward smash, like whatever thing. Neutral I, game. Like they both have the same thing. Yeah, it's basically space to sword. But like, uh, if Leo can go into more detail. But, but the like, basic idea is like. Yeah, but like if you're good at the spacing, if you're like really good, Marth could be better. Like, even if you don't have any tippers with Lucina, you still want to like space really well, right? So if you do that with Marth, it's just gonna be worth it. It's gonna be better. It's just harder to do. But like they're exactly the same thing. Just be patient as a wolf. Just be just like be spacing. Just wait for the mistake of your opponent. Just just keep dancing away. And like every time you get an opportunity, just grab them, fair them into grab, obviously that's a, a combo, or like just Dancing Blade. Dancing Blade is like kind of fast, so even if you, if you get some uh, punish, you can you can just do Dancing Blade, it does like 15%. It's actually really good. I'll be out of shoes really good, but like his neutral game, I mean their neutral game, like amazing. Uh, I mean, some, yeah. There are common setups, like down throw is a common setup. You even do down throw in the up air. Down throw into up like air, down, down throw. Down throw and you wait for air dodge and hope they Yeah, like air dodge. we already explained <laughs> that. And then you yeah. get a, like two to three hits. And the more you space, the harder it's gonna, it's gonna be to hit you. I think their weakness is that they don't have a projectile, so they don't they're, have gonna, they're gonna have to run at you like all the time. Yeah. So they don't have the luxury of yeah, only like, playing defense. Any character, like, I don't know, uh, let me think. Most characters, have, Roy. Like half the characters have Roy is just gonna lose to Martin Lucina because they they got more range and they don't. And like Roy, if he hits you with a tipper, he's not gonna do anything. So he needs to hit you with like the middle part of the sword. And like that's really bad versus Martin Lucina because like they want to space right. So if you try to space them, they are just gonna win because they have more range. But like when they are fighting like projectile characters, it's just hard because like they don't have any projectile characters, so yeah, they need jump, to approach. They jump into and like aerials. even if they jump, their jump is like. They're it's like, too floaty. They're yeah, too floaty in here. It's like super floaties. But Martin Lucina, one of those you have guys to like that, shield that and parry kick, and get combo super hard. 
Like, if you hit one of those characters, you're just gonna get a lot of damage. Yeah, I think another weakness is that they're really floaty. So, like, if they're trying to get off the ledge, even if they successfully do a ledge jump and don't get punished, they, they don't really get back into true neutral very quickly. Because, like, let's say I ledge jumped and he didn't cover it. Well, no, I'm still above them. I'm still in a... I'm in not a significantly better spot than before. Whereas some other characters, like, let's say Roy, for example, if he did the same ledge jump, he has faster up and down falling yeah, and left and right forward. drift. He's faster in both categories, which means characters like Roy and Krom will get off the disadvantage area much faster because of their falling speed and their left right air drift. Whereas Marf and Lucina, they're going to be floaty, so you can just, even if they ledge them, it doesn't matter because you're just floating under them and they're still in a really bad spot. Four tricks, I think uh, we've already told you anything about Mart, but uh, that if you get like the star spot fair into star spot, into sweet spot fair, the same as upper, back or downer, you're gonna be able to get a better kill confirm. Lucina is a really good dancing blade for a low percent to get you to get like 20%, to like to get a 20 damage string on you, but it's the worst dancing blade for actually K KOing you. Yeah. So it's good um, at the low damage, it's bad at the Let's see damage. if I can get it. Like, he's at like 83%. If I get the tipper, He's gonna die like super early, sorry, I'm not gonna It's also get. stale now. See? Yeah, oh, and that, and that was stale too. Yeah, and but like he's super strong, he can yeah. kill you at like 60%. But like even if you are like 150, Lucina is not gonna be able to get a dancing wheel, right? The right? problem with, but, like, they, but they, like, at 150, they will pop out of Lucina's dancing wheel. Yeah, but like Marv is different. Cause like every single hit of, of Marv's dancing blade is like super quick. So he's, oh, he's able Mark to do one, two, three, four and kill you. Even with no tipper, he's gonna kill you because you're at a uh, super high percent. Oh, so wait, Mars Dancing Blade, it works at 150 and the scene yeah. they'll just pop out? Yeah. Even the earlier hits are weaker. That means Mars Dancing Blade is only bad at low percents. But it's the like, it's really good for KOing. Oh, we, we need to raise one more time. Okay. I have a trick to win, guaranteed. I have a guaranteed way to win. <gasps> Okay, you're with me. Okay, we're gonna start ranking the attributes for Marv and Lucina. Combos, a smart, I think, is an S. Because like I already told you, Marv has very combos and Lucina since he got two uh, hitbox. So, uh, Sour Spot into Sweet Spot combos are like super strong. You just need to like have a like super vision to just get deeper every, every time you want. I didn't think, uh, I, I thought Lucina's combos were gonna be a B. I just feel like, since he ranked at S and I ranked at B, that's kind of like a big gap. But I feel like Lucina's more about just like the basic combos. She doesn't really do like the kill combos. She just like kills you off straight hits after you get up damage. Yeah, yeah Lucina is just getting damaged little by little, then she just hits you. Edge guarding. I think Lucina's has, that's the main thing Lucina's good with. The, her forward air and back air will consistently just kill you. You only need like one hit and almost every character is just going to be consistently put in a really, really bad position. Also, the Marf's tipper forward air and back air are not significantly stronger than Lucina's. So that's why I think Lucina's edge guarding is where she, where she really shines. Yeah, she, Which is also she's why better she's so good guarding doubles. than Marf, but like, imagine you're fighting with a wolf that doesn't have a jump. Oh, then you want the double fair. No, I mean, yeah, but like, even if you do, do, oh, yeah. if you do that with Marf, there. it doesn't matter. Yeah. So I think I would say A plus S? Depends on the matchup. A, a or S? Neutral game, I think it's on A. A. They are like super good, but like they, don't have they, they always get so combo and like just, they always they always gonna lose to projectile characters. Q power, obviously I think Marv has more Q power and S. Marv's S if you if get you, it right, but yeah. sometimes some stocks you just won't kill until like 170. Yeah. But then sometimes you just kill them at like 60. So it's S with extreme variance. It could be as low as like a C or as high as like S plus plus. Whereas Lucina is like consistent A. Movement is exactly the same thing. So it, it's a? like we don't need to explain. And I think it's an A. Yeah. Overall, I no, think. Like a, a character. <laughs> like probably bottom, top tier. Yeah. I, I actually think Marf is better than Lucina now that, I, now that I've been playing the character more. So I would say it's like they are both like top tiers. Like not, not the best character in the game, not like top five. Like, they are pretty good. That's all we know about Marv and Lucina, so... Uh, 
I guess this is the end of the video, and this is the end of Lucina's Mewtwo King. Lucina's what? Mewtwo King? Lucina what? has what? a Mewtwo King? Uh, I didn't know. I have no idea what just happened the past 10 seconds. In case you like the video, just subscribe, hit the bell. In case you like the video, just like it, like, under the video, and like, comment something. In like, case you like, like, like the video, just like it. <laughs> okay, it's like, if, like, just let us know who's your take. Who are you gonna main, Marth or Lucina? Who do you think is better? I gave my opinion, he gave his opinion, so just, just keep talking, like, to your friends in Twitter. Don't be a hater. It's like, yeah, I will see you in another video. The day is mine!